Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I got this makeup look. Um, it's a really nice rose gold look with hints of pink on the cheeks and the lips too. So first you want to add a base to your eyelids. This will ensure the eyeshadow stays on all day long. And now I'm going to use this new product I got which is the Colour Tattoo by Maybelline. Um, I think it's called Golden Air. I'll list the product down below. It's like got hints of rose gold in it it's absolutely beautiful really good base next i'm going to use this um makeup geek eyeshadow i completely forgot their names i'm i think i'm just going to label them all make my life much easier then i'm um just applying that over with a fluffy brush and again a slightly deeper tone with a fluffy brush also going into the crease line and sort of creating a crease line because i've got quite hooded eyes um, so I'm using this purple tone base eyeshadow. These are all by Makeup Geek as well. So I'm adding that more, um, how can I say, adding more depth to the outer corner of the eyes. And this creates sort of like a smoky effect. So it's a really nice purple tone. I think it goes really well with the pink because it's got a slight pink undertone as well. Now I'm adding some brown to it. So this is a slightly darker brown. I'm building up the colours, you know, they're getting darker now. And with this, I'm going to repeat this process three times. So with a smaller precision brush, I'm first going to create, um, well, go over my imaginary cut crease. <laughs> if you have one, it makes life so much easier. And then I'm just blending uh, the harsh lines with a blending brush. Uh, mine's from Sigma. And I'm repeating this step around three, four times. And that's really dependent on how dark you want this look, how dramatic you want it. And next, of course, I'm using Sim, which is a beautiful highlight shade. It's got like shimmery sort of um, silvery reflex in it, which go really well with this look. And now I'm fixing, um, fixing, spray and fix plus and applying this on a flat brush for this pigment to really stick onto my eyelids and it just makes it glow and I don't know, it makes it stand out even more. But the main thing is it makes it stick onto the eyelid and you would not move anywhere all day long, which is what we want. And you can see the pigment is this beautiful rose gold colour. And this one's definitely called Golden Air. And now I'm using um, this sort of I can't explain the colour, it's a really unique colour from Makeup Geek and I'm just adding it um, in the corner of my eyes and also to the middle and then of course I'm going to line my eyes with some gel liner, I've been loving this Maybelline one, it's so easy to use, it doesn't dry out, I've had it for like two months now and it's still like not drying out at all which I was really impressed with. And I'm just creating my usual cat eye eyeliner look. Um, this is the one I pretty much do all the time. I just love it. And I'm going to go over my waterline with the um, Urban Decay 24 hour eye pencil, the black one. Um, it just doesn't move anywhere and you know it's really easy to blend out as well, which is what I'm doing now with a smaller precision pencil brush. And I'm just going to go over the eyeliner with the black um, pencil liquid liner that you saw and of course curling my lashes and I've applied my lashes already this is going super quick and then I'm applying some um, cream shimmer onto my cheekbones just to make them stand out a bit more and make my skin look more dewy now this is Stroke of Light um, by Bare Minerals I love this because it's a uh, eye brightener but also acts like a concealer so I've been obsessed with it I like to highlight with it around the areas of my face where I want lightened and of course under the eyes to cover any dark circles it sort of does everything and covers any small blemishes as well and now to go with it I'm using this Bare Minerals uh, Mineral Veil which is a setting powder and it's got a slight pink undertone as well which really helps brighten now I'm going to contour my face with a cream, sorry a liquid foundation this is the Makeup Forever one um, I've just got them in my kit so I'm just using the darker one to sort of contour my uh, cheekbones just under them and also under my jawline and then I'm using the same foundation brush I use to sort of buff the contour in and it, this just really helps to get rid of those um, lines which we do not want because we want our contour to be flawless and seamless 
and you can see the contour just really adds a lot of definition to my face without it looking too crazy cray cray now i'm using this sorry i'm a bit late i used the cream blush by bare minerals um, just to go with the whole cream contour thing and then i'm setting um those areas out and i'm just sort of pressing the powder in to say now i'm using this pink a body shop uh, highlighter just to go with the pink flow since everything else is pink um this one i'm using i think it's uh, I completely forgot all the product names I used today, it's so bad. Um, but yeah, I'm just lining my lips with this pink uh, liner and then a nude lip and of course my NYX Glossy um, Lip Gloss. This one's got a slight pink tint as well, which really helps this look. And of course, my MAC Fix Plus. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is the finished look of the rose gold makeup look I've been going to and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video too.